Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Mercedes-Benz C300H AMG line on a 22 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside you can see it's a five door estate vehicle with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically, as you just saw. Uh, we have reversing sensors, of course. Plenty of boot space as well. And three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car. And then, as I said, we'll hop in and run through some of the controls from there. Now that we've done a full circle of it, though, you can see, firstly, all of the alloy wheels are in pristine condition, as is the bodywork the entire way round the car. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the right-hand side, the rev counter. It'll also show you what gear uh, the car is in over there as well. Uh, so it's an automatic. We're in park at the moment. In the center, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 8,576. You can change information displayed up there, uh, should you wish to. And that is done using the controls on the steering wheel just here. You can also, as you can see, change the complete layout of these dials. So anything that you want displayed up here, including, as you can see there, satellite navigation. You've got a choice of a lot of different dial styles there. And as I say, that is done with the buttons just here. The buttons on the left-hand side that almost mirror those are for the central display. Uh, which is touchscreen, we'll come to that in just a moment. We have our stereo controls beneath that. And then over on the right hand side, cruise control and speed limiter. Behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus pedal so that you can change up and down the gear manually uh, with this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center is the massive touchscreen. Uh, so you can operate this, as I said, using the buttons on the steering wheel. Otherwise, of course, it is uh, touchscreen. So you can see there for yourself the many settings you've got, like pairing up your phone, for example. You've got your radio and media menus. Uh, the home button is there, so that'll always take you back down to the beginning. And you've also got your climate control settings here for both passenger and driver. Um, the sat-nav screen, of course, which you can see being displayed at the moment, is very, very easy to use. Full colour display. On top of all of this and everything that you can see on the screen at the moment, we have a full color reversing camera as well. Uh, so very easy to park this car with the camera and parking sensors. Below that, we have the swipe here, uh, which will, as you just saw, control the volume for your stereo. You can mute it from here. You can turn the system on and off from here as well. We have our hazard warning uh, lights on that section, and you can change the driving setup of the car. Uh, so from, uh, various different modes comfort as you can see uh, you've got your parking camera menu just here of course putting the vehicle into reverse will automatically put that camera on anyway within this section we have two cup holders usb-c input and plenty of storage you can close that over should you wish to the last thing I wanted to run through is the paperwork we hold for the car. So you can see there the V5 registration document, uh, two keys with the car. Uh, the service record is all online, but there's a printout from the online screen there showing the service that was done last year on the 18th of August. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video walk around of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.